Hello, I'm going to do a real quick Photoshop tutorial for you here. This is a um, extremely attractive image brought to us by a extremely cool photographer named Justin Mayot, good friend of mine. Um, he managed to get this attractive model into this abandoned warehouse, tie her up with some metal clad cable, um, got the makeup artist to take some of this MC and install it in her hair so you get these kind of metallic curls coming out of the model's hair. That's an extremely cool image. Um, great job with the, the dramatic sky in the background and uh, the, the image really doesn't need anything but what we're gonna do is kinda take it up just that little notch um, by doing something that you might you may or may not notice as a possible distraction in the image and that is um, we're gonna perspective correct it. Um, you can see the lines of these the windows kind of tailing up into the top center of the image and the reason for that is the camera had a slight up angle when taking the um, picture um, which is was, you know it's part of the image you have to kind of have that up angle to it um, and, and it gives the image a particular kind of look. Um, if, we for, if we fix the perspective from that though it takes out a possible distracting element from the image so this is how we're gonna do it we're gonna come over to the background there we're gonna double click on that that brings up the layer dialog you can rename it if you want or if you just click enter what it does is make this um, a regular layer as opposed to the background layer which basically makes it editable um, we're gonna come down here create a new layer and then I'm going to bring that down to the bottom um, the reason I do that is so that when I expand the canvas um, it's this blank layer that's getting expanded uh, click C for the crop tool, come outside and go all the way down past and select the entire image with the crop tool and then shift, alter option and drag and that will ex expand the size of the uh, crop box from the center out and you click enter and what that does is expands the size of your canvas without having to go into the um, image dialog and, and typing in numbers and whatnot. All right. Now we are going to go on to the layer um, 0 and Command J to duplicate it. We'll shut this one off. We will Command click on this thumbnail that selects that and then Command Shift I inverts the selection down to layer 1 here and Alt or Option Delete fills it in with the um, foreground color. So basically what I just created is a, um, a black frame. Command D will deselect and I'm going to bring that frame up to the top now. The reason I did that is so that when we start using the warp tool we have these straight lines to to give us an idea of what we're doing. Um, it's a lot easier than if you just had it on a blank a blankness. You wouldn't really be able to have that same kind of visual um, visual reference. So from this point we're going to go command uh, we're, oops, no we're not, we're going to make sure we're on this layer here and we are going then to go command T to bring up the free transform tool and then um, right click or control click to bring up this dialog box for the free transform tool and you're going to go down to perspective and it's just it's very simple grab one of these top side grab boxes and pull sideways and you're going to do it until you see that the line here, and this is just a visual kind of look, that this line sh straight along with the same edge, straight edge of the frame that we just created. And that's why I did it, so you kind of have that visual, um, that visual reference. Um, so that looks pretty darn good right there. Actually, I think we can probably scoot back just a teensy bit, like that, and then return or enter to commit the change. Um, and you see if I take the frame away you can see that it has that kind of outward slant to it if you were pulling out and you saw that outward slant without the or the reference it might be hard to kind of see okay when is it actually straight so that's it that's that's the extent of it for the most part um, it's done it, it's just if you take away the frame now actually what we'll do now is um, I'll delete the, the layer with the frame on it because we don't need it anymore and then I will come down turn this layer back on and I will also command click on that thumbnail that gives us our original size for a selection I'll come up to image crop and that brings us back down to our original size command D and now you will be able to see the transformation if I un if I shut this layer off very subtle 
but it just takes away that little tiny layer of uh, possible distraction. Anyway, that's it. You can check out Justin Mayotte at flashhousestudios.com, and you can check me out at keiththarp.com, and also don't forget about the new podcast at cameracampus.com. Thank you very much, and have a great day.